So at 13,800 and some feet at Cloud's cameras over at the Canadian and French uh, cameras on, over in Hawaii, you can see the remnants when the sun comes up. And basically got the super giants in the sun right here. And then we're going to freeze it and catch our genie in the bottle. Because basically I'll move off here, I think, to the right. And I think that the screen will go away after a while if I keep my cursor up and out of the way. But maybe not. But you definitely can see uh, the cracked mirror or crystal that you have down here. You can also see that there's some kind of, we always say crystal, but there's some kind of uh, salt deposit, crystallite, clear, reflective, no matter what, it's reflective. It's almost like a jeweled flipping uh, planet. And basically, this is what you see with the moon doing its reflection. And yes, if you go to all my old videos and just about everybody else's old videos of clouds, you will see that the idea that we always showed you what was pretty much a sun or other more than one at more than one different time. Also, two or three different uh, Alraf and uh, I think Regulus and some other suns, which basically are stars, and the supergiants that basically were coming up last fall solstice. And more than likely, we'll get some again this year. And this is what's going on with the moon and with all the light from the supergiants. And this is what it did with, uh, oh, I have to back it up a little bit. Actually, I don't think we'll be able to back it up. It's just showing what's there at this time down here, which is at like 138 on the 8th of October. So that's 138. Y standard time in the morning and then you start the movie and it'll show you a quick a quick snapshot now if you can freeze that play always watch my videos on full size now there's the remnants that go up, go away you got formal hot off to the right and Uranus and they'll keep track of it now remember they're not right there you have to look to the left to see what the brightest thing is and you should be able to see it now remember Uranus I believe is dark you have to back the video up for that to see if I could be right or wrong on that. I haven't really paid too much about looking at Uranus because I pretty much think that Uranus is dark or very small. Pleiades is basically the big cluster to the left. And if I'm wrong on that, then it's the star in front. But Pleiades should be that big cluster to the left, which is basically the meatball. Okay, And when you get the meatball in a second, you're going to see at the very top of the screen as this moves away... Because you'll have Rigel and Pategulus and the moon, which are super giants, okay, that make the moon do that. But in the future, we'll get times where the moon won't be there. And we did that last year. We caught lots of times when the moon wasn't there. It wasn't Jupiter, it wasn't Venus or anything like that. It was basically just Rigel, Pategulus, Alraf, and other suns and the super giants that at 13,800 feet you can see. Just like you're seeing Regulus big right now with Venus, okay. There's the meatball on the bottom, and no, it's not a reflection. So, you get the meatball there, and you'll be seeing it for a while, and then it'll get real dark, right? And you look at my old videos, and you'll see the meatball, and there's the remnants, and there's the sun coming up, and we get that big crystallization. And as you see, that they basically, if you just start this out, and then basically right at the beginning, you see, you'll get the, the freeze shot of the sun like the day before coming up. So if I go back, and basically the best way to do it is to get it to go all the way to the end. You're showing the sun. And pretty much, folks, what they are hiding is the reflective shot of mass 50 to 55 or 45 to 55, whatever you want to call it. But pretty much I consider Pleiades as being mass 45, okay? This is mass 45 to 55. Take your pick. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, or any other mass number that NASA is going to put on it because they play shell game with uh, the numbers and names of objects, okay? They put shifts around, and that's why we have pairs of astronomers, not astrologers, pairs of astronomers, in the old days, they used to kill the astrologers because the idea they were worshiping the sun gods and the planets and all that stuff like that, okay? And not paying attention to God. Religious killings, okay? Well, there's, if you get on the internet and you look at it, there is a video out there. Matter of fact, I think I'll 
put it up for you. But anyway, this is the actual factual that the mass next to the sun is being uh, hologrammed right there to the right. And you can catch it right at the end. I was It is at the very beginning if you start the, the video out. But at the very end, you can also see it here. And what it is is the sun is hologramming it up here. Either that or the actual factual is that the idea that, that, that this remnant which is huge because basically that means it's way bigger than Jupiter, uh, way bigger than, uh, and Jupiter is the biggest thing we're supposed to know in, okay? And as the sun comes up, it's doing all these reflections from all this material that's around, and basically we're getting a wild. I mean, it's beautiful. It's, I mean, it's crackle glass down here, a bunch of crystal-looking uh, planet objects here, and then we get this mass that basically is actually there. I've showed you in a lot of my videos, and you end up seeing it up here to the right, okay? Along with all the remnants that are up by the sun, okay? That basically, from the ultraviolet light waves, light is a wave, the waves of the sun are very special. I've showed you that the idea that they react to each other, that if in uh, photovolic, okay? And there's been some scientific people that have figured out that, yes, anyhow, this is actual factual. Okay, it's right there in the sky. It's right up here to the right. As long as I don't hit it, it'll. It, it's right there. I can't really blow it up. I guess I could go down to. I'll go to minimum. Hopefully it won't play. Let's see. Then it plays. So then basically I'll have to back it up. And we'll try to freeze it. But if I get, will I be able to do it fast enough on this player? No, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. It's kind of hard to get, right? See if I can get it froze there now, and then I'll move up. And maybe we'll get a better look at that, okay? And basically, that's what's being seen there. You see, this is getting looked at all the way. Now, what's wild is in the past, you know, you see this stuff, and it's like crazy faces or something like that. So let me get it zoomed in. We'll zoom up to like 400 right off the bat and take a look at it up there to the right corner. See, the problem is, see, every time I zoom it, it's going to play. i got to be careful not to tap on it. So... I got him. Let me try to cue it up. You got to also remember that this remnant is there to the right beforehand too. But it's hard to see if it matches up or not because when I blow up the screen, I have to go down and drag and play and pause to be able to get a blow up shot without touching the screen and screw it up. I got to hope that I caught the sun there and that I don't mess with it and touch it. Because if I touch the screen, and it looks like I got lucky, so we'll get up a little bit, and then I'll try to keep the box away. And we have the element up there. There it is. Okay. So that's what they're worried about you seeing. Basically, it is the real mass. And you know that I'm at the shot. I can take and go down. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to luckily tap on this to get it to, I want to go custom so I can blow it up even a little bit more. And hopefully I can drag this. Well, anyway, I'll put in my high 800. And hopefully it won't play. And there we go. We got lucky. I got it. So that's as best as you can get. Now, is it given in a holograph image of itself in 3D? But no matter what, it's not the sun. And it's actual factual because otherwise the sun is blown up. There's a huge CME coming off of it, okay? Because that's pretty much what the sun looks like when it does a CME. Okay, but actual factual, that is the object that is, or more than one object, that's there next to the sun. And it's also, if I can scoot down a little bit, you'll have to go back in the video to see if that their object there, the dark black remnant, to see if that matches up to what I had blown up a little bit earlier, but I think it pretty much does. Okay, so no matter what, we are getting an either it is the remnant, its actual self right there to the right, or it is the 3D hologram of it that is next to the sun. Okay, and it's going to be freaking people out. Okay, because that's it right there. Because basically, you can see that I'm at CFHT clouds, and I move down, you'll see some of the remnants that are in the sky all the time, they follow the earth. Okay, 
and you're only going to see them in sunlight because as soon as it gets dark, there's not enough light to make them shadow so that you can see them. And that's even one of them right there as we get low on the horizon. Okay, and I'll miniature right, and there's that hologram that you end up seeing. So you're getting a real good blow up of that. It's the first time I've been able to do that. Never really thought about doing that like that before. So, and then we go up through, and you got the sun in here right there pretty much. And then I'd have to get down here and then go and go left. And then you're starting to wonder if you actually, when it first comes up, if you can see way more than just the sun. If we're actually seeing Alraf in there, because basically, is that the sun right there? Which I do believe that the sun is basically more than likely being noticed that when it comes up, is that should be the sun there. Okay. And then you're getting it. It seems to be able to see maybe more than the sun, Alaraf, and stuff behind the sun when it first comes up. It's really getting hard to tell the difference because basically I'm blowing up to 800, but you're seeing the etching mark that basically something in front of the sun makes all the time lately at 18,000 feet. Now these are black remnants, I believe, right here, here and there, but the sun is doing a wild look at whatever the hell. And it's freaking people because basically that's a, a photographic 3D image of it. Whatever the hell is in front of the sun right there. Plus what you're also seeing up here to the right. Because that's basically a 3D image of the mass of, you take your pick. Basically 48 and above. Because I believe 45 to be Pelidius, way off to the left, that you see doing the action earlier. And that's what you're getting. And basically right now, I'm just going to plop down in size so you realize that what you're looking at is what you're looking at. And it might start playing, but let's just go to 150. And that's what you're seeing in the sky, folks. Over in Hawaii, 18,000 some odd feet. I mean, sorry, 13,800 some odd feet. Okay. So there's mountain ranges in the United States too. The Rockies, you can get up and take a look too. So the Indians have known about this stuff for a long time. So there's way more out into space than what NASA tells us there is, okay? Way more. You see all these remnants, and I know and have a very a lot of a large catalog of this here remnant there up by the sun, between us and the sun, let's put it that way. It always follows Earth. So, and that's what the moon's doing, and we have caught Regulus and uh, other objects in the supergiants coming up and looking like other suns without doing this, what, what's going on with the moon right now. And I'm not really sure on just looking at this shot, what's uh, making the moon shine up like that. But I mean, it is the supergiants and the sun, don't get me wrong, but it's one of the supergiant stars that's close by it. Now, I showed you earlier in the video tonight, I don't want to contradict myself because basically you just go back to the video and you'll see what I said was blowing up uh, the other stuff tonight. So anyway, just go back and watch it. It's pretty simple stuff, and what they do a great job lately is telling us what's there, because that's basically Cyrus there. That's Pollux, and basically what the sun and the supergiants are doing, are illuminating it big time, and in the alignments that we have right now, it's doing the same thing. Central Standard Time down to the right. We've got uh, what's fresh, and basically it was Hawaii, 2.9, and I'm not sure how long ago that 2.8 was. So I haven't been watching that much lately because it's been a little bit calm. We'll admit that. But at the same time, with us being very, very calm, look at the triangulation we have of quakes recently. West Coast, Pacific Ocean, in the evening time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and That's what is always dangerous to have an earthquake in the middle of the night because power will be out and dark and everybody will be fumbling around. And then lives get lost because waste. And then it's kind of sad, too, that anybody in an area that they know they have falling rock, there's been Chinese people killed, and then some other people in another area killed by landslides. Uh, hell, a lot of quakes going on. If you're in an area where you know that there's earth next to you, natural or man-made, that is possibly could cave in on you, uh, you're not in a safe area 24-7. So be cautious of where you're at because there's quakes going on all over the world. An example, basically right there, there's a shitload of quakes out there, okay? So don't become a dead person just because the idea you're living around some shitty, uh, high, loose anything because it'll kill you, okay? Careful where you're at, folks. So like I say, folks, careful where you're at and keep it. Watching the quakes, they're all over the place. That's only not even 24 hours there, I don't believe. So 